Hey y'all, so I'm going to be playing through levels that have a sky theme to them. They were submitted on Facebook and there should be an interesting selection of levels. The level you can see on the screen is the level I made, Super Spike Shell Stomp. I'm going to start with this since it's my own level, then play one level from everyone else who submitted a level. You could submit two but that would be unfair if I played two levels from some players and only one from others. So let's get on with this level, nice and easy. I will play it twice though, as there's two different routes through the stage. Super Spike Shell Stomp, here we go. So we have rainbow pipes and a bunch of Cooper Troopers. All you have to do is bounce across like this. Nothing too difficult. There is a checkpoint halfway as well. This level already has a rather tight world record, so good luck if you want to beat that. That's halfway done anyway. For the final part, keep shell stomping like this. There we go, nice. Oh, I nearly messed that up and then grab the top of the flagpole like so. So that's the day route. In the pipes at the start, there is a night route. So let's give that a go as well. All right, so go in either of the pipes at the start. It doesn't really matter which one you go in. Then just bounce across as you did with the day route. This is easier, you have a bigger timing window to land on the Cooper Troopers, so if you are struggling with the day route, you can practice here. You won't get a time as fast though, but you should find it a lot easier. Well, with a bit of luck anyway. There's a checkpoint halfway. The pipe layout is exactly the same, but the colours are slightly different on the pipes. Because it's red Cooper Troopers, all the red pipes have a Cooper Trooper on rather than the green pipes. So just a mirror of the main world, but pipes with different colours basically. Still exactly the same level though, with the markers and the Cooper Troopers, munchers and a lot of spikes. We're nearly there anyway, it does take longer as I mentioned. This is the slower route through the level, so it doesn't really matter which pipe you go into again. We have a fake castle and gold flag. There we go, you can get some one-up mushrooms as well. Finish the level like so. And there we go, that's the stage I made for the challenge. Nothing too difficult, I don't think, there. Might be tricky for a few players though. It's sort of an easy, jumpy style stage. So there we go. All right, so here's the first stage. I'm going to be playing Chonky Night Gardener. As I mentioned at the start, if a player has submitted two levels, I will just pick one of the levels. So I'm basically playing one level per maker in the video. The garden grows wild at night. Mario has only his corpulence to help him. Quite a short world record. Let's give this a go and see what the stage is like. I don't think it'd be too difficult, but it might be tricky and it does have a clear condition as well. Right, so something with the big mushroom. Ah, okay. That's not looking too difficult. Oh, I see, okay. So it's basically a puzzle, so to speak. Pretty short, easy level. Well, hopefully easy. You've got quite a generous time limit. I have messed it up and I would assume, yeah, there's the goal. I'm pretty sure I can do this. I just need to work out the correct order for destroying all of the piranha plants. Let's see if I can do that. So I think to start with over here, take out the two. Oh no. Right, I think I may have failed. Yeah, I've totally failed. Let's give that another go. Right. So I think try going through like that. Now this isn't really the way to do it as you can't go over the top of the piranha plants. You need to take out the two over here early on, I think. I have an idea. I don't think it's a good idea, but I do have an idea. Hit that one only, then do this, then Bounce across after, yeah, that works. And then bounce like that, bounce like that, bounce like that, bounce, bounce, 
up we go, up we go carefully, hit the last one, then hope I've got enough time to finish the stage. Oh, what? How tight is that timer? So that's how to do it anyway, just a case of actually doing it now, which is the tricky part when you do stupid stuff like that. Oh, I didn't even quit out, that's even better. Yeah, don't do that. Right, we shall try again. So, nice and quick. Oh my goodness, I'm failing in every single way you can. Yeah. My playing skills are... Oh my goodness. Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. What was that? Come on, sort it out. Right. So here we go again. Stay away. Okay, that might be okay. Sit and then up, 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 up. Small jump. Small. Small. Small again. Then hope there's enough time uh, to finish the level. Or time, should I say. Yeah, there we go. Just about done it. That was pretty cool. An interesting idea, that's for sure. Harder than it looked, though. I will say that. But definitely not super difficult. More than completable. So I'll give that a like and put a quick stamp on the stage. There we go. I've gone with a cool idea. Let's move on to the next stage. All right, so here's the next stage. This one could be tricky. Quite a low clear rate. Plus it's like Kaizo. Planters in Las Alturas. I hope I said that right. Open sky build theme, or open build sky theme, should I say. Four clears on the stage. World record just under one minute though, so probably not that long. Let's see how I get on with the stage and how difficult the stage actually is. So I think it should be within my range, maybe. Probably not based on that playing skill. I was going to say within the range that I can probably complete. I think you have to do this to start with. That's it, and then I'm not sure what to do there. All right, so bounce on the note block. I've got that much. Oh, what? What? Something like that. Well, maybe. There's a power block there as well. Oh, okay, so something's happened. Where did the shell go? Right, so I can bounce across here. And then what do I have to do? Something like that. Oh, that was pretty good, actually. Don't know how I got away with that. That's quite hard, though. No real warning. I guess follow the coins downwards. That would be what I would assume you have to do in that room. That's not too difficult. I'm getting the hang of that. They follow the coins down to here, maybe? I have no idea what you're supposed to do in that room. Oh, I think I've worked it out. There we go. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I've just got to try and do it again now. I was ready to give up at that point, but I've worked it out and... Look what just happened. I was too slow. Okay, I know how to do it now, so that's always a good result. That part's really clever once you've worked it out. It took me a while, but that's a really cool idea in the stage. Oh, and that was unlucky. Those swamps were kind of off screen. Right, so... Hit like that, then over we... Oh, I didn't quite manage it on that attempt. Just need to bounce a little bit higher. Right, here we go. That's it, nice. And then bounce over like that. Be quick and beware of the thwomps. I'll wait for it to go back in position. That's it, go, go, go! Nice, no checkpoint, okay. Oh, there's the key door, though. Right. Yeah, you don't get long to react in those rooms. Ah, okay. I was going to say, why is there a piranha plant in there? Nice to see a checkpoint, though. I need that for sure. We have Yoshi and a big mushroom for the next section. What have we got? So, not quite sure what you're supposed to do here. You definitely don't want to do that. I think you have to bounce off the grinder. 
and then the spiny is brought with you throughout the stage. All right, so here we go. Grab that Yoshi and big mushroom, then try and do this section. You definitely have to grab that and then bounce quickly up here. That much is pretty straightforward. There's an icicle for the on-off switch. There's a marker there. Oh. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I think I've made a mess of it. Okay, so there's some way of getting to the door. Have I done it? I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but it seems to have worked. And now grab the claw and do something here. Okay, I'm a bit confused with what you're supposed to do. You don't have to do that, though. I've made a mess of it. I think probably jump off Yoshi at that point. If I can get back to there anyway. I don't think this was the intended method, but it seems to work quite well. Just doing that and then hitting the three hidden blocks and then going in the door. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not what you're supposed to do, but it seems to work. Right, so here we go. Let's try this again. Through here, nice and quick. Get back to the muncher. Hit, hit. Careful. Oh, I didn't want to get rid of the spiny, or did I? I don't know. This part, though, I think is easier than it looks. Grab the claw like that, through. You've got to do something here, probably with the shell, some sort of reverse sort of shell flick. That's going to be quite difficult to do, but I have an idea of how to do it. So don't hit the spike. Oh, don't hit the on-off switches either. I will. Go back. Careful. Right. And then jump gently. Grab the claw. And then like that. And then something like this, I think. Have I actually done it? Oh. Oh no. What? So you need Yoshi for this part. You'll jump off like that. I'm almost there with the stage. I just need to work out how to keep Yoshi. Right. So we're back to here. Got to be careful. Oh, I missed the claw. Oh, how unlucky was that? Yeah, this stage is hard. Harder than it looks, that's for sure. Oh, I think I might have done it. I think I might have done it. Okay, okay. Just keep calm now. Cool, oh, that took a long time. Right, so I think you can spring. Yes, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so what have we got in here? Ah, I know what we've got in here. Let's not mess this up. Right, concentrate. Okay. Oh, is this a bonus room? It's not looking any easier. Have I messed it up already? I think you're supposed to bounce over the walls, so hopefully going back in this pipe won't kill me. No, that's okay, okay. So, yeah, just bounce over the walls here, I think. Carefully, like so. That's it. And then... Oh, is that the end of the stage? Oh no! Where's that enemy coming from? Is this all about to go horribly wrong? Oh no. I think it might be about to go wrong as you can't get through the end wall now. Oh, and I've hit the icicle out of all the stupid things. Right, okay, so we're back to here. No, what the, what, what on earth? Oh my goodness. You, ah, oh, oh. How could I mess that up? That part's easy. Don't mess this up again. That's it. See, easy. Easy peasy. Now, just do this quickly. Okay, doing it quickly doesn't seem to work, so... I think just wait. Well, that's one way of doing it. And then just bounce over carefully. And then do the most spectacular fail of all time. What was that? Okay, we're back here. We're back here. Didn't take too long to get back here. Right, so... Oh, I dread to think what could go wrong here. Wait a sec. Oh, wait a sec. Yeah, I see how to do it. Just don't spin jump on the yellow blocks. Okay, so just spin on a couple of the yellow blocks, I think. That's okay. Do something like that and then jump off. But beware of that horrible winged enemy that appears. 
So you've got to be quick like this and then not take a hit. Not take a hit, not take a hit. Oh no! Have I done it? Have I done it? Oh no! Are you... Oh! Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh wait a sec, can I still complete it? No, I can't. Oh! How many times do I have to fail in this section before I actually complete the stage? Come on! Right, can I do it on this attempt? Well, that's a good question. First one, over like that. Second one, beware of the icicle. Then that horrible winged enemy. Oh, I've almost done it. Oh, wait a sec, there's a hidden block. Oh, good. Okay. No. No, I can't do it. A hidden block. Would have got me back to the goal, but that winged enemy is really evil. Yeah, I'm getting to here quite a few times now, so it doesn't matter if I mess up here too much. Previous sections, not too difficult once you've learnt how to do it, but I still think this is pretty evil. Oh, bouncing on the enemy seems to have worked. There we go, done it. Yeah, that was quite a hard stage, actually. I had been playing that for a while, plus I had to come back to it after watching a video in order to beat the stage. But I have finally completed it, so let's give it a like and put a stamp on the stage. Just to beat it stamp, and there we go. Oh, right, and here's the next one, Super Tail Whip Bros. Tail Whip on off switches, descend slowly, or jump to whip switches. Right, let's give this a go. Only one clear on the stage, but I don't think it's going to be super difficult. Let's see how good I am with the raccoon feather. Here we go. Right, so, yeah, it looks pretty easy to start with. Nothing too complicated here. Just hit those, go in the pipe. And then we have... Okay, more hitting the on-off switches. Just be careful, I think. Right, oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that, if I'm being honest. And I kind of went for it. I don't think I'm going to get too much further with the stage, as I can't go in the door here. Let's start over from here. Right, so here we go again. So you have to whip the spiky balls that come at you, I think. That's not too difficult to do. I didn't realise they were coming out of the pipes there until after I'd already kind of gone. So, yeah, that was kind of a bit of a fail. Oh my goodness, they come at you really fast as well. Oh, wait a sec. All you have to do is surely that. Then the spiky balls go the other way. Okay. It's actually easier than I thought. A lot easier than I thought. Right. What have we got to do here? Get in the door like so. Nice. And platform down. That should be relatively straightforward. Just hit it like this. Okay, and then platforming again. Right, that looks quite hard. I'm not really sure how to do that, but I've managed to do it anyway. That's it. It takes a bit of an effort to do that. Okay, so it's clearly getting harder and harder with each section. Oh! Yeah, I didn't see what was there, unfortunately, so I kind of died. Alright, so back to this platforming part. This was pretty straightforward, actually. It gets a lot harder, though, when you get to this part. You have to do something like that, sort of hit it at the last second. It's not that easy to do. Jump like that and then sort of hit it. There we go. This part here, okay, so... Follow the coins. Follow the coins through seems like a good strategy. There we go. There we go. Now I know how to do it. It's a lot easier. And we have the first checkpoint and a nice coin and a pipe over here. So let's go in the pipe. Right, so... Oh, this looks like some sort of boss battle. Okay, so you have infinite raccoon feathers. And I would assume you just have to hit the spiky balls. That looks... Like a pretty safe bet. And I'm not sure what else you're supposed to do in here. Just repeatedly hit those until something happens, I would have thought. I'm quite sure though. I keep taking damage. It's not as easy as it looks. Right, so that's it. Gently hit that. There must be something off the screen that makes something happen when you've hit enough of the on off switches. Oh, there we go. The key appears. Brilliant. So go in one of the doors like so. 
Do we have another checkpoint after the boss? Probably not. And then we have... Oh, that's the end of the stage. So that wasn't too difficult at all. I'm not sure why the clear rate on the stage was so low, to be honest. A few tricky sections, but nothing super difficult at all. Give that a like and put a stamp on the stage. Yeah, I was expecting that to be a lot harder. It's a really good stage, though. I love the idea behind that. Gets you better with the raccoon feather. Let's move on. Alright, so here we go. The next stage It's called It's Adventure Time. Come on, bring your friends. We're off to very distant lands. 20 second speed run by the looks of it. So let's give this a go and see how well I do at the stage. It looks like a music stage as well from the description of the level. Alright, so here we go. Or not, here we go. What was that? Not the best start. I'll be quiet so you can listen to the music on the stage as well. So there's the music anyway. I'm not very good at this stage. It's quite hard. Yeah, that's really difficult, may I add. I can't control the cloud very well. That wasn't a bad effort. I'm getting a bit further with the stage. Yeah, this is extremely difficult. You can see why the clear rate's low. Decent effort. Oh, 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 I'm close. I'm so close to beating that. That wasn't a bad effort at all. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, I've just about done it. I don't believe it. Wow, yes. Yeah, so that was pretty difficult. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, though. Controlling that cloud is quite tricky. Let's give that a like and put a stamp on the stage. There we go. Stage completed. Let's move on to the next one. All right, and here we go with the next stage, Mario's Sky High Adventure. Level for Facebook, open build, sky theme, like Kaizo. Puzzle, two stars on the difficulty. Quite a lot of clears on the stage as well. Let's give this a go and see how well I do at the stage. Shouldn't be too difficult based on that clear rate, but we will see as I play. All right, here we go. So munches at the start. One up mushroom here. Looks like platforming. Ah, get on the spring nice and quickly. I nearly missed that. Hit the on off switches. Okay, looking good so far. It sort of looks like a blue platform stage. Well, so far anyway, with munchers. Nothing too difficult, and a checkpoint as well. Now, this looks more like a precision section. I don't think it is, though. Lots of platforms again. Nice pink coin in the corner. Let's get that. Ah, do I need the pink coins? Well, I'm going to get them anyway. There's those giant 30 and 50 coins as well. Underneath. That's sit Nice. So this is the puzzle section of the level. I would have thought. I need to try and find the on-off switches to change the blocks. What does that do? Not a lot. Okay. There's the door anyway. What's over here? Ah. Let's get that. Try and get that 30 coin while I'm here. And now I need to work out the rest of it. Oh, that's easy. And then there's one more pink coin hidden somewhere. Just need to try and find it. And it's not down here, that's for sure. Okay, where's the last... Ah, it's in here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice. In the door. Right, so into the pipe. 
What have we got in the pipe? Ah, more platforming, okay, and more springs, so probably best not to hang around with the springs on at wings. Underneath the chain chomps, don't, oh, that was close, that was very close. And carefully through here, and that looks like the end of the stage already, so yeah, that was pretty easy in all fairness. Puzzly section was really good, platforming was good as well, just generally a really good stage. I had a lot of fun playing that, there we go. And I managed to beat it first time as well, which is quite surprising because of my playing skills. Let's go and put a stamp on the stage. There we go, I've gone with a cool idea. Let's move on to the next stage. All right, and here we go with the next stage, Goombas Rule the Sky. Expert difficulty platforming, nothing too hard. Well, that sounds good. Also looking like quite a short stage from the world record. So let's go ahead and give this a go and see how well I do at the stage. Goombas rule the sky. Right, so, oh, okay. That looks pretty, ah, he meant to actually pick it up and throw it and not just automatically kick it into the munchers. I know what I'm doing now, or well, maybe, something like that. Oh, no, okay, and then wait on the platform before jumping. I think that's a good strategy. That's it, wait, and then... That's not that easy. That's quite a bit harder than it looks. Probably going to die repeatedly at this point now. Oh no, almost, almost. I'll get it on the next attempt. Well, maybe. I think I see how to do this part. And do something like that. That's it, nice, then delay it. Perfect, now for the rest of the stage. This is looking a lot easier from here, if I'm being honest. Just the one part. Oh, something's supposed to happen there and it didn't. I think anyway. Right. That's it, yeah, just delay it, then jump. Just had to work that part out, that's why I died a few times at the start. Not sure about this part, ah, there we go, it worked this time. Last time I think I just got a bit unlucky, unfortunately. Oh, I see, across on the Goombas then. Oh, have I done it? Into the pipe, nice. That's the first part done. Now for this part here. I think throw the, sp how are you supposed to do that? Sort of a spring drop. Right, so here we go from here. I'm not sure how to do this. I think something like that. Oh, there we go, perfect. Not that difficult at all. It looked a lot harder than it was. That was unlucky, I hit the grinder. Right, here we go. From here, get past those munchers nice and carefully. Oh, yeah, I kind of pressed it at the wrong time. That was not so good. Don't do that again, Mario. Right, through here then. That's it, over we go. Get the power block and throw it there, that's it. And then quickly. Oh, what happens here? I would have thought the thwomp has to hit something. Not sure about that point. I'll get back there hopefully nice and quickly. There we go, through here. Grab the power block. I'm not sure, something's supposed to hit, I think. I think try waiting for a bit, see if anything happens before moving on to the next part at that point. Let's get back there. So wait here, then Oh, yeah, there we go. The icicle's meant to hit the on-off switch on the left. Right, so here we go. Let's try and get to that part again and complete it. Just a little bit of a delay on the jump. Don't leave it too long, though, otherwise. So something like that. Perfect. And then up, up. Nice. Oh, no, why didn't it duck? I thought I ducked. It didn't. So slide your way through, basically. Yeah, I thought I ducked at that point and it didn't quite work, did it? Never mind, I know how to get there. Again, let's get there again carefully, delay it, that's it, and then one, two, that's it, perfect, nice. Okay, and there's a pipe over here, carefully into the pipe like so. Now what have we got in this section? Oh, that looks like the end of the level, just don't die right at the end. Oh, I thought I was going to hit the muncher there, that kind of scared me a little bit, but I didn't hit the muncher. I completed the stage. Yeah, that was really good. It was quite a bit harder than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. 
I did really enjoy the theme of that stage. I will give it a like as I've just done and put a stamp on the stage. Mixing up my stamps have gone with a nice this time around. There we go. All right, so here's the next stage. It's called the Great Gig in the Sky. I'm not frightened of dying. There's no reason for it. You gotta go sometime. That's a bit dark. World record 59.349. Clear rate nearly 30%. So this shouldn't be too difficult to complete. But we will see as I play the stage. Here we go. All right, so here's the start of the stage, night and sky, so we're going to have the low gravity. Okay, there's nothing up there, a cape feather, so I can, oh, there we go, I see. So you have to go up there. Right, you do need the cape feather. Up we go. Oh, okay, that's not as easy as it looks, as you have to go straight up like that. There we go, and then do a dive bomb to hit the munchers. Let's try that again. I know what I'm doing now, I think. Well, hopefully anyway. That's it, nice. And then through we go, carefully. Another cape feather here in case it's needed. So you've got to Z up in that gap like this. That's it, perfect. And then Z across here. I see how to do this. So this kind of looks like a cape training stage so far. Nothing too difficult. Tricky moves though if you don't know how to do them. This part you have to be careful to avoid the booze by the looks of it. Don't accidentally lose the cape. And you have to drop down here. Yeah, there we go. Now carefully across here. Onto the seesaw. Get that claw. And that's the second checkpoint. So I'm doing all right. Now for this part here, the third section of the level. This looks a bit more complicated. Just have to be a bit careful here. Ah, I'm gonna take a hit. Nothing I could have done about that. Hopefully you don't need the cape to finish the stage though. Otherwise I'm going to have a major problem. Probably do, don't you? Yeah, you're going to need. Oh, I could try spinning. I could try spinning and see if that's enough to get me through the stage. Oh yeah, it is nice. So yeah, a really good stage again. I like how it teaches you how to use the cape feather. Nothing too difficult either. There we go. Course clear. Let's give that a like and put a stamp on the stage. Using another cool idea. Let's move on. All right, so here's the next stage. D7 Sky Platformer. Facebook Sky Build. Clear rate just over 5%. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Plus a relatively fast world record. Let's give this a go, see how well I get on. D7 Sky Platformer Technical and Single Player. Right, here we go. So, I'm just looking at this. I'm not sure what this is going to do. Ah, okay, so, yeah, it's all gonna flow like that. That wasn't a bad start, actually. I managed to work that out pretty quickly. That's going to go there. Bounce across like so. Grab the vines. Ah, there we go. That's gone nicely into position, but I managed to fall through the semi-solid. And I'm not really sure how that happened, unfortunately. So that was a bit strange. Let's try that again. I think you're supposed to hit the Koopa to the right rather than the left. Okay, let's try again. Z through carefully, that's it. Hit that, like so. Correct direction, nice. Goes in position like that. Now for this part, this part I managed to get through, but I fell through, so run quickly. There we go, nice, that's a lot better. Not sure what this does. Ah, okay. Allows me to get through like that, nice. Let's get the one-up mushrooms as well. And here's the second section of the level. I think I see how to do this. Careful like that. Nice. Then over we go. Bomb in position. Does that bomb do anything? Why didn't I spin jump at that point? That wasn't very clever. Try that again though. Hopefully this time I will remember to spin jump. Right, nice. Spin through like that. 
Not sure what that bomb does still. I don't think it does anything other than allow you to progress. It doesn't blow up and hit anything is what I mean. Can I get in the pipe? Yes, I can. Nice. There we go. Stage completed. Relatively easy stage. Technical sort of themed. Really well designed. I love the way this stage looks, may I add. So there we go. That's the stage completed. Let's give that a like and put a stamp on the stage. There we go, I've gone with a wow comment. Let's move on to the next stage. All right, so here we go with the green screen. This one has a rather large amount of likes and plays on it. For the community, sky open build. What will you see? Let's find out as I play the stage. Clear rate around the 2% mark. Shouldn't be too difficult to complete though with a bit of luck. Let's give this a go and see how well I get on. All oh, right, here we go. So, new style. I'm normally pretty good at new style, but we shall see. Right, carefully over here. I think you're... No, you weren't. That was actually looking pretty good. All at green items by the looks of it. So far, anyway. And a Yoshi, which is always nice. So, I think you're supposed to... Ah, almost. Don't jump off Yoshi when you reach the munchers at the end. So I nearly reached the door. I just made a really silly error at the end of this. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get back to there with a bit of luck. But we shall see. There we go. Nice. So over carefully. Wall jump, wall jump. Get the Yoshi. And this time, don't jump off Yoshi when you reach the end of this section. It should, with a bit of luck, just about make it. There we go. And oh, now you have to lose Yoshi. So let's go in this pipe. What have we got here? More technical stuff. Ah, the Koopa Troop has been moved. I think you're supposed to jump where the coin was. What I mean by that is jump off the Koopa Trooper where the coin marker was. So something, that's not that easy. I think no twirly jumping. Just make a regular jump at that point. So something like this. There we go. Nice, nice. It worked. Brilliant. Okay, so up here. Cooper Trooper there. Oh, I just... How did I manage to miss that? That was really unlucky. Right, so let's try this again. I know how to do it now, so... Shouldn't it be too difficult? Well, with a bit of luck anyway. Keep on wall jumping and trying to get as high as possible on the jump. I just managed to miss it again. I was nearly there. I just clipped the bottom, which was a bit unlucky. Yeah, as long as you don't twirly jump, that part is not too difficult. But don't do what I just did and hit the Cooper at the wrong time. That's it. Hit that shell in midair. Right, so get as much height as possible. That's it. It's only just about doable. You've got to be really high on the jump. There's Yoshi again. Right. Oh, no. No, no. Come on, what on earth happened there? That was really unlucky. I should have made it, but I didn't. Right, we'll try this again. Yeah, so really high on the jumps. Make sure to get the maximum height like that. Cooper jumps carefully, wall jumping across. And don't hit the munchers. That's a good strategy. There we go, nice. We're at the pipe. And that looks like stage completed. Yeah, another really good stage. Not too difficult. Some of the sections looked hard, but they really weren't that difficult to complete. Love the theme and design of that. All green. I'll give that a like and put a stamp on the stage. I put a beat it on the stage just because Luigi has a bit of green clothing. There we go. All right, so here's the next stage. Clouds over multiplayer mayhem. Four-way multiplayer or time attack level made for Sky Theme Facebook contest. Very high clear rate on this, so I can imagine this shouldn't be too difficult to complete. Let's give it a go and see how well I do at the stage. Obviously intended for multiplayer, I will be playing it solo. Right, so here we go. Let's go in the yellow pipe, I think, and get the star. Nice. And here's the stage. Right, up we go. Oh, well, there's a ground block in the way there, so you've got to sort of jump to the side. That's quite tricky. 
I've done it now. Let's keep going up. Springs here. Right, I may have to play this again to check out the other side. Nice. Into one of the doors like so. Then some cloud climbing here. Right, let's be careful. Up we go, up on the vines. Oh no, I missed. Careful. That's it. Almost, that's quite hard. Right, concentrate. Up to there, up to there. See the gap. Oh, at least I didn't fall down. That's, I did that time. Right, let's do it quickly. That's it, nice. Then into one of the pipes, yeah. Yellow or blue. Right, and that's the first pipe done. I'll do one more of the pipes, probably one of the first two pipes, since that will give a different route. I'll go and put a like on the stage as well before doing that. So let's light the stage and start over. I think this time the red pipe will give the other route one of the first two from what I saw. And this actually looked a little bit easier, but I'll find that out for myself as I play it. Yeah, this actually looks a lot easier than the previous route. So this would be the route I'd do to try and get the world record. Oh no, it's alternated so you have the harder route now. That's really cool. I wasn't expecting that. Oh wait a sec, does that mean I have to do this twice? Not sure, unless this is a mirror. It might be, as the pipes are a different colour. There we go, nice. So yeah, it's just a mirror of the section you get with the other two pipes. That's really cool, and that time wasn't too bad either. Yeah, this is a really good stage. I love the way this stage looks, may I add. It's also fair as well, based on what I just said. Let's put a stamp on the stage. Right, I've gone with a wow comment. There we go. Right, so here we go with the next stage, Lost in Laputa competition level. Find your fastest route to the castle in the sky. Have fun. So this doesn't look too difficult. World record under a minute. Let's see how I get on with the stage. I like the artwork in the thumbnail. That looks really nice. Art and single player. The stage is labelled as... Right, so here we go. Oh, it's a new style stage. I should, in theory, be good at this, but we will see. New style is my best theme. Right, let's be careful and climb up and watch me die almost immediately. No, I won't. Hopefully not. Oh, that's really cool. Wasn't expecting that. Let's take out the piranha plants anyway. Right, so that'll be a fireball. And what do you have to do here? Climb over this way through the grinders like so. Yeah, that's looking good. P-switch. Do I want to hit that? Well, I will anyway. And then climb up like so. Get to the door nice and quick. But Oh, no. I missed the door. Oh, that's probably a shortcut route if you're able to make it to the door. Before the peace switch expires. I wasn't quite quick enough though. So I have to take the slower route. Yeah this is very much feeling like a ninji inspired stage. Lots and lots of different ways to climb up so to speak. Let's get that claw. Go across to the other claw like so. There we go. I won't get the 10 coin. It is very tempting but... I'm not going to. Right, and then beware of the munchers. That's looking really hard. Can I do that? Yeah. Oh, no, I can't. What? I thought I'd be able to do that. Okay, what I'll do this time is wall jump at that point, I think. Let's try some of the other routes or other ideas through the stage. Right, so you can go over here instead. Beware of the spikes. That's it, nice. Another spike ball here, so you can take this route. 
I'll try this P-switch timer again, I think. You've got to be really quick, though, so... Not easy. There we go. Nice! I made it to... Oh! Have I skipped the entire level? Well, not by doing that. Right, I'll try that again. Hopefully the platforms will have respawned. Right, so... In here? No. Ah, bombs. Okay. So you need two bombs to get through that. I would have thought... Got to be quick before the bomb explodes. Ah, and that takes you to this section. Past that horrible muncher that got me last time. So, that's always good. That platform takes you straight to the top. Do I want the spring? Well, I don't know. I don't want to touch those munchers, though. Be very careful here. That's quite tricky again. Then, spin my way. Do I still want the spring? I'm bringing it with me anyway, just in case I need it for something. There we go. We're at this point here, so... Oh! That makes things a lot easier rather than trying to jump across on the Cooper Troopers. But I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go across? I would assume so. Must be nearing the end of the level. Yeah, there we go. I can see the flagpole over here. There we go. Stage completed. Yeah, that was really good. If I had more time to play each stage, I'd probably give that multiple attempts to try and get the world record. I'll definitely give that a like and put a stamp on the stage. There we go, I've gone with a good stuff stamp. And here's the final stage I'm going to be playing, and it's actually an automatic stage. I wasn't expecting this. Auto level, work smarter, not harder. Auto hold Y plus B. Clear rate 11% for an automatic stage. Okay, let's give it a go. This should be interesting. Hold Y plus B. So let's do that from the start and hope it works. I think you have to hold forwards as well. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it will. It looks like it's working so far. Nice. Oh, the angry sun took away my shoe. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, that's really cool. I like the way this is designed. Automatic stages take a lot of work in general. I think I'll give that one more go just because I hardly spent any time at all on the stage. I'll give it a like. I'll try and do it without playing it as an automatic level. That's always fun. By fun, I mean absolutely impossible. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when I try and do it as a normal stage. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I can't even get in the shoe. Yeah, that's not very smart, is it? Let's be honest. All right, let's try doing the first jump as an automatic. No, it's actually easier to do the whole thing automatic, if I'm being honest. It's also quite fast as well, so... If you could manage to do it the normal way without just holding in the buttons, I don't think you would improve on the time too much either, so... That's something to bear in mind. Love the pipe theme with this stage, may I add. And there we go, the stage is completed again. Nice. So I had a bit of fun trying to do the stage the way it's not intended. I failed completely. Beat it again the way it's supposed to be done. You can see here my time is very close to the world record, so I doubt there's too much improvement I could do here. Let's put a stamp on the stage. And there we go, I've gone with a nice stamp. Stage completed. All right, and with the automatic stage completed, it's time to end this video. I hope you found that interesting and enjoyable. I've included a link in the pinned comment to the Facebook post that had all of these levels on. If you are on Facebook, feel free to check that out. There's tons of cool stages submitted there. There's also timestamps in the description as well. If you were wanting to go back and check out a specific level. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. 
I've included a previous video on the screen, plus a playlist, plus you can also subscribe from here if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.